Yes, um, can I, oh, thank you so much. I will share really quickly. Uh, I don't know how to do this, one second. I believe everyone can hear me. Yes. Yes, yes, we can hear you. We know you. Hi. Okay. Hi. Do you want to mute everyone? Is everyone muted, Elder? I don't know. Yes, sir. They're all muted. Okay. Uh, There we go. Where I wanted to, uh, um, there is a, I'm sorry, there is a certain quote that I wanted to read. I was trying to pull it up on the screen. Uh, I'm going to see, attempt to do that really quickly. Uh, just a couple of quotes on happiness. Um, let me see if I can do that really quickly and then we'll have a word. Here we go. Let's pray. Were you able to see that? We can see you, brother. Are you able to share a screen? You're not able to see the screen? Um, okay, don't worry about it. Sorry, we won't be able to see the screen. Let's pray. Loving Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. We want to thank you so much for your patience and for this opportunity to consider our happiness. Uh, it is something that uh, oftentimes is challenged, uh, probably every moment of the day. A great deal of our efforts is going to going into maintain it, maintaining our happiness. And many of us are desperately in need, Lord. Many of us seek for happiness from the wrong sources. So I pray that as we read your word, as we consider happiness, uh, its source, where it comes from, uh, that you would strengthen us, that you would help us to be a more happy people, uh, even in the midst of a storm or a trial or a difficult time. Bless us to this end. We ask for your Holy Spirit, for we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I wanted to uh, uh, first read here. Uh, a little bit about happiness um, so that we can understand a little bit about the sources of happiness. I took up a lot of a lot of time already, so I don't think I'll be able to uh, I don't think I'll be able to go to the infographic, but let's go ahead and read here. It says the golden rule makes happiness. This is coming from uh, my life today 165. It says all things whatsoever you would do that men ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. It says the Savior taught this principle to make mankind happy, not unhappy, for in no other way can happiness come. God desires men and women to live the higher life. He gives them the boon of life, not to enable them merely to gain wealth, but to improve their higher powers by doing the work he has entrusted to mankind. It says the work of searching out and relieving the necessities of their fellow men. Man should work not for his own selfish interests, but for the interests of everyone about him, blessing others by his influence and kindly deeds. This purpose of God is exemplified in the life of Christ or in Christ's life. Um, just again, brothers and sisters, bringing to our minds, I read this before, but I think it's important to emphasize our greatest happiness will come in doing for others. It will not come by doing for ourselves. And unfortunately, uh, our life education has been such that we have been 
taught to seek for our own happiness by doing things for ourselves. And many of us are afraid for that not to be a reality. In other words, many of us are afraid and think that we will not be happy if we are not able to do things for ourselves or just be selfish. Um, I want to keep reading here. It says, it matters not what our position may be or how limited our capacities. We have a work to do for the master. Our graces are developed and matured by exercise. With the truth of God burning in the soul, we cannot be idle. The happiness we shall experience in doing what and doing will compensate even in this life for every effort. Those only who have experienced happiness resulting from self-denying effort in the service of Christ can speak of the matter understandingly. It is indeed joy so pure, so deep, that language cannot express our high calling, 186. Uh, two more statements here. It says, Christ makes his church a beautiful temple for God, where two or three are gathered together in my name, he declared, there am I in the midst of them. His church is the court of holy life filled with very gifts and endowed with this Holy Spirit. Appropriate duties are assigned by heaven to each member of the church on earth, and all are to find their happiness in the happiness of those whom they help and bless. So not only is it in serving others outside of the church, but the various duties that God has given us uh, within the church, we're to use those talents and we're to take advantage of those duties by blessing others and helping others. Uh, Signs of the Time, March 1st, 1910. And the last one here says, the world is full of dissatisfied spirits who overlook the happiness and blessing within their reach and are continually seeking for happiness and satisfaction that they do not realize. This is just bringing to view again, uh, as the Bible says, the eyes of a man are never satisfied. We put so much effort into trying to be happy, not realizing that the end result of all of our selfish efforts will end in unhappiness. This is what she's confirming here uh, when she says, um, uh, we are uh, seeking for happiness and satisfaction that we never realize. She says they're constantly on the stretch for some expected far off good greater than they possess and are ever in a state of disappointment. They cherish unbelief and ingratitude in that they overlook the blessing right in their pathway. The common everyday blessing of life. You hear what that said, brother? This is key now, okay? Because things that are common, we don't consider as blessings. Oftentimes, it has to be uncommon. It has to be something that we can mention to someone else and will cause them to say, oh, wow, those are the things that we need constantly. We believe we need constantly in our life to be happy. But she says the common everyday blessings of life are unwelcome to them as was the manna to the children of Israel. And I think this is an uh, important point. And we won't even go to the verses because I believe you know, I believe Exodus 16 is what the reference is here. When the children of Israel received the blessing of the manna, do you know what they said? They said, what is this plain bread? In other words, they overlooked the miracle. They overlooked the mighty manifestation of God's love in that common moment because it, for them, it was just a meal. And for them, it was not even a meal that they desired. So they made it so common that they made it unpleasant. So they could not be happy in the blessing of God revealing his love to them. They could not be happy ultimately with Christ. Because don't forget, that manna was a symbol of Jesus. So where their highest joy should have been found in God manifesting himself and his love for them and his ability to save and provide for them, they overlooked that for some other selfish desire. I encourage you, brothers and sisters, the health of your mind is tied to happiness. And that happiness is tied to common blessings. It's tied to serving others outside of the church as well as inside the church. And it is hindered by us self-serving or serving ourselves. So may the Lord bless us as we consider that we already have the secret to happiness we just need to make sure that we don't allow the blessings of the Lord to pass by unnoticed. Let's have a word of prayer. Loving Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus, and we consider that we are surely living in a time where there is so much unhappiness and lack of appreciation. 
but we want our minds to be set aright. As we are surrendering our hearts, we want to be reminded that that includes our thoughts, how we view life, and also our happiness, our unhappiness is found therein. May we be a happy people as we understand how to be happy and the blessings that have been poured upon us daily and the common things of life even. May you help us to trust you and to believe you and to have new minds. This day we ask and pray even for your forgiveness for not acknowledging your goodness to us. Help us to this end for we ask in Jesus name. Amen. 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 May our, may our happiness reflect the thoughts that we're allowing in our minds and also the thoughts that we um, think of when it comes to um, our daily service of Christ. Uh, with, this, with, that being, with that being said, uh, we're now ready to transition to our main sermon. Uh, but before we do so, um, I would like to make a request. Uh, Sister Kelly, uh, would you mind blessing us with one song of meditation uh, before our speaker uh, begins our afternoon study? Thank <laughs> you. 